this is a second video I wanted to show you the clock actually working in China so this is the Rimbald clock from London I do have the original key here it has a nice brass extension with a wood handle so you can hear it running already and I'm going to show you a little bit of how the winding is working and I'm not going to make it too tight you can see it fits right in it's already quite tight so I'm going to leave it where it is and let's carefully remove that. And I'm not going to move the other one until I move the clock hand position. So initially when I first set up the clock, it wouldn't time wouldn't chime the correct number for the hour, but I think within twenty within twelve or twenty-four hours it sets to the right number of chimes. I don't know the background how it gets to that. Uh, but it did in my case at least twice I tried it where I stopped it. Um, I would reset the time and I would try to keep it. Um, I don't know the bottom portion. The numbers do move, but um, maybe it's day of the week. Not really sure what that is. Um, it's kind of hard to find information on these clocks because of the age. So let's go ahead and try one more winding. So we put that in. There it is. Um, again, if you have any questions, send me a message on eBay. Thank you.